Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a brief tutorial on Design Spark Mechanical. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Helix feature. Okay, first we're going to go ahead and go File New, New Design. We'll go ahead and create a circle. Do a 10 millimeter circle. Then we're going to pull. We'll pull this up. Let's undo that. Let's click. Let's just type in 20. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and click that line there. Hit K. Now we're going to spin this around and then hit plan view. So we'll control plus. Right now we're in half of that, we're at the half of that revolved circle, this or shape right here. So we'll go ahead and pan down, control plus, and we'll pan up a little bit. Now normally the helix feature is, helix tool is used to draw uh, threads. So what we'd want to do is, if we were going to draw a thread, undo. Let's turn off the snaps. Let's go ahead and uh, well, what I want to do just to make sure that this is straight is we'll go ahead and put a line right here. Select to click off. We're going to right mouse click on that line. We're going to set as mirror. And now whatever we draw over here is going to show up on the other side. So let's draw that. And then draw a piece here. Okay, now we have our, uh, our spiral tool. We'll go ahead and just click off of that. Let's delete that. Let's get our, our click on our create corner. We'll click there and there. Okay, now we're going to go to pull. I'm going to select that. Um, we're going to go add. Then we're going to select the revolve here. We're going to go select that piece there. And then we're going to say check this box up here that says revolve helix. Um, and then we can just click and drag up. So it's going to add the helix. Now we got a five millimeter pitch here. So when we undo that, we can put a two millimeter pitch in there. And now there's less space. And so I'm just pulling up that shape up. You can put your own, the own height in there if you want, if you know what that is. Um, we could put 20 in there. And then we just hit enter and it's going to go all the way up to the top here. So this is basically how you would use the helix feature to add uh, threads threads to like bolt and then if we did undo now if we wanted to add uh, grooves we could select that piece there and say move and then we could actually move this around 180 and then uh, move it in. And then we click on this, um, go to pull, click revolve, click on the center line, revolve helix, and then we use the cut feature. And then we click and drag this. Now it's going to cut into there, putting notches in to the part. And then you could just get rid of that. You don't need it. Oh. Can't seem to get rid of that. Well, I'll just leave it. But anyhow, that's a. Uh, this is how you would add the notches to your bolt. And the other way is how you would add your, uh, uh, your threads. So 
Let's undo a few of these. Now you don't always have to draw a thread. You can use uh, the helix feature to draw shapes if you wanted to put a uh, You wanted to put a circle there. You could draw the circle and go to revolve, select it, select the revolve from midpoint, revolve helix, and then you could go ahead and create this interesting shape. Uh, now you can go ahead and spin that. So now you have this little kind of wrapped wire around something. This is kind of neat. So we'll go and do, we'll get back to here. So basically any shape that you can create, uh, you can revolve it around. Like, we'll just draw a weird shape. So if you wanted to revolve that shape around, you could select, click revolve, click the midpoint, check this helix box, and then just drag it up. Now you have this kind of a weird little shape part here. Um, then also, if you want to add more space, you could put, you know, five millimeters in there. Now you have a part that's spaced pretty far apart. That's... All right, so that's going to end today's tutorial. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching and you found something useful out of this video. Thanks again for watching.